welcome back. It's Gina. I've got a journal to share with you guys today. Uh, it's been a while since I've done um, this size journal. This is um, slightly larger than a TN, but it's uh, eight and a half by four and a half. It's a one signature, and it's using that uh, Prima lavender paper pad. Love this um, paper. It's just so pretty. On the spine, I've just taken some. Uh, lace, old lace, and put that on there. I've left some of the strings hanging so it's very shabby looking. Um, and then the closure is just a uh, seam binding ribbon that's been tied so that you can slide it on and off. Um, pretty chunky. <laughs> really pleased. I, um, I watch Genevieve's and I know she likes to do the rough edges so I thought I would give that a try and I've just recently gotten my uh, ruler for tearing the pages and I'm really really happy with this so um, if anybody's looking for one of these um, or thinking about it I, I definitely recommend it it's it's you'll see it's a beautiful effect so um, so yeah it's the first chance I've had to use that so the, anyways this is the um, Front and back, I've kept it fairly plain um, because the paper is just so beautiful. I didn't feel it needed anything else. Um, this is the inside. I've not put a pocket. You could always add that if you wanted. Um, here I've just clipped a little journaling card. And you can see the edges are just gorgeous. I've inked along those. Everything has been... Um, this is tea dyed paper, but then I've also come in over every page and done like a really light script stamp so you can see that um, just to give it a bit more interest. And on this page, we've got another little journaling card. I did some stamping there, and maybe you can see a bit more of the um, script stamp. This is one of the Edith Holden uh, book pages. This is just a envelope, and then inside I've put a couple more um, little journaling cards for you to write on. Uh, this has 60 pages front and back, so there's a lot of space for writing. Here's another little journaling card. This is a glassing pocket, and inside I've put another little little card. Just did a little collage here with some lace and uh, a ticket. And here I've just done a handmade card with some collage lace um, doily. I've got some uh, eyelash trim, and then some music sheet over doily there. And this is some um, tea dyed tracing paper. Love that sound. And then I've also done the script uh, stamp over that so you can lightly see that. Um, here I've done a little flip up with um, a bit more trim that's been uh, tea dyed. And then on this side, I've created a little pocket out of a vintage uh, ledger paper. And here's just another little journaling tag with some stamping. Another little journal card, and then this is a little folder. And that's all tucked in there. And I've done some collaging here. Glassing bag. And here I've just done another little flip up on some vintage uh, music sheet page. And that's been held in with some seam binding. I love the color of the seam binding. It matches this um, paper pad so well. And I've, here I've done a little tuck spot pocket. Um, made a little journal card out of the extra piece of paper pad. Did some more stamping on a piece of paper. And then this... I've just flipped the um, alteration tag up and made another little pocket. Find yourself and be that. 
and that's just tucked in there. Did a little bit more collage in here with a vintage button. This is a vintage doily. I've done some, um, I've inked it. I, I don't get on with the um, tea dyeing. It's, I, I don't, I just don't like doing it with these. They're, it just makes them too um, fragile, so I just have distressed this with some ink, so. And here I've just done a little um, file folder pocket. Did a collage down here with some uh, a little rosette. And then here I've got, this is some of the um, avocado skin dyed paper I had left over. And I just made a little notepad there. And here I've just done a little, little tag here. You could do some journaling back here. And I just a bit of trim and one of the little um, cards from the kit. Yeah, I do love these these colors. That's oh, they're just beautiful. Um, here I've done another little um, journaling card. I did some stamping on the back, a piece of the um, from the paper pad, some burlap, and another of the little um, rosettes. Here I've got another little clear, it's a clear front glassine pocket, and this is one of the, um, oh gosh, sorry guys, my, my brain's not working this morning. Um, you know, it's from the, the, one of the cutouts from the paper pad. <laughs> ah, what happens to us when we go on camera, I don't know. <laughs> Here I've done a little, um, pocket out of uh, one of the um, quotes or poems from Edith Holden and then I've just made a little little tag there and this is another little journaling card from a, a kit. Here I've done a little um, button onto a piece of trim. And this one I've got um, another collage going on there. You can see I've got a little corrugated heart with some gesso on it. And found this in my stash. I used to have this die from Stampin' Up! And I, I no longer have it. So I tucked that in there. I missed that die. Do you guys ever uh, get rid of things and regret it? Oh boy, do I. I always think, oh, I'm not going to use that anymore. I sell it. And then I... Or, just I should hang on to stuff, but I don't have the room. <laughs> At some point, you got to get rid of things. Um, here's uh, one of the pages from the collection, and then I've just attached this little um, tag. I call these the Wendy tag because she she did a tutorial on these for attaching. So you've got you know you've got th really three sides. You can do some journaling. I did a um, little collage there. That's just tucked over there. Love how this paper's come out. It's really, really... It's funny how some batches come out darker than others and you get different patterns on your papers. It's just every, every batch of paper comes out different. This is the center of the signature. I've sewn it in with a five-hole pamphlet stitch so everything is secure. I've attached a couple of the little butterflies. I like doing that on the center. It just gives a bit more interest. Here I've just I've created um, a good size pocket there. There's nothing in it, but here I've got just an extra piece of the um, coffee dyed paper scrap that I just did some stamping on, and then I did some stamping on this little tag. Um, this came out by, I don't know if you guys... Well, you know, the pizza pans that have the holes in it. I dried some in the oven, and that's how I ended up with that. So if you like that, that's how that was achieved, is using one of the pizza pans. Um, made a little pocket there. I love this paper. Um, here I've done a little tuck spot and attached some um, eyelash trim with a piece of little 
extra scrappy lace I had. And here's another little journaling card. I did some stamping on the back of that. And that's just been tucked up in there. Um, and here I've just um, attached this. I don't remember who. Somebody had did a, a tutorial on that. But that's just, you know, some extra little scrappy paper with your... Um, I've got some really thick um, thread here. And I will say, this is wonderful thread. But I struggle... Um, because it's really heavy duty, uh, my machine, it balls up and I'm not, you know, skilled enough in my sewing yet to know what to do. I've tried adjusting my tension, um, but at any rate, this I bought this and so it was left over and I thought, well, that makes a great use for that. Um, so it's just a nice little effect. So I've done that on two sides there with a, a couple of little vintage buttons. And here I've just done a little notepad there and did a bit of collaging. Did some machine stitching. Um, another little tag and then another little cutout tag there. I was going to show you guys. I must have passed up Oh yeah, I've just sewed a couple of pages in here, so that one, it, you know, it does have a different type of feel um, to it when you put the gesso on it. So that's there's a couple pages, and I've just overlooked it. Here's another uh, little pocket area. Um, it's that clear front glass scene. This tag, I love how this has come out. Isn't it funny how, you know, you start to make something and and you don't really know how it's going to come out. But I love the how this one has. This is a little Tim Holtz tag. Um, oh gosh. Clip. Just simple. So simple. But I love how that's... I'm just really pleased with that. So that's some muslin with some linen thread. I love linen thread. I buy loads of this stuff. Um, and then here I've just layered up some of the hearts that I've cut out from the paper pad. So... And I did some stamping and then did some machine stitching so it just looks kind of like an old quilt to me. <clears throat> Let me tuck that back in. And then these little journaling um, tags I've got stuck on this side. There we go. It's a doily. Um, this one I've done a little um, pocket tuck spot um, with more collaging and more of that thread. I do love the way that's come out. Uh, I never tried that until this journal, but that's I, th I think I'll be using that in future. Um, yeah, just various little journaling spots for you. And this one I've just put a little eyelet up in there. That was an extra piece from the paper pad. And <clears throat> this little page, I've just got various things. This is one of those little bitty um, playing cards and I just backed it with some coffee dyed paper, did a little stamping, then machine stitched that. Just a little um, craft uh, tag and then a little mini Rolodex card that I've done another little collage on there with some cheesecloth and a bit of the trim that I had. I'm going to be going, um, I think it's about two, I believe it's two more weeks I'm going out to the big flea market here so Fingers crossed, I'm going to get some really nice laces. If I get a nice um, group of them, I'll do a video for it. But I'll be honest, the last couple of ones I've went to, I haven't gotten enough stuff to, to feel I, you know, it, it was worth doing a video on. But I'm really hoping this one, that there's some ladies out there with some, 
some nice antique trims and laces I can get my hands on because I'm getting very low on those. Um, here's another <coughs> piece of the um, avocado skinned paper, just a little, and I did some stamping. I've just put some trim on this glassine bag, and then that's from the kit. Or the paper stack, sorry, it's not a kit. <laughs> Here I've just done another little little collaging, and that's a tuck spot you can use with the doily. Um, and there's some more of the um, tracing paper. Ah, this is the other page that I've gessoed. And then I just stamped over that very lightly. I really like the way that's come out. Um, this is the back of that envelope. And I just did another little little uh, notebook thing with the rest of my paper that's been left over. And a little journaling card. Here's the back of that Edith Holden page. And then that's the back of the journal. So there you have it. It's very, very shabby, chic. I love it. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting busy now. Um, probably, well, I know I won't be doing any more Christmas journals. Um, it's just with the shipping, it's, it's too late in the year now to get them shipped out to everybody so that they can use them. So... I'm on to other things. I'm back to trying to use up my stash, so this is the first of it, and I'm going to be carrying on um, in future, trying to dwindle down and, and clear out for some new items. So you guys, thank you so much for coming. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate everybody that's... Um, that's joined my channel lately and I hope you guys will find some inspiration here. Everybody please take care this week and happy crafting. I'll see you soon. Bye.